Hello everyone, how are you doing today? Love, protected, and safe, I hope. Today's sermon from God is on Psalms 18, 1 through 50. Let's dive into the scriptures and then an example of the power of the Lord. I love you fervently and devotedly, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and the one who rescues me, my God, my rock, and my and strength in whom I trust and take refuge. My shield and the horn of my salvation, my high tower, my stronghold. I call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised, and I am saved from my enemies. The cords of death surrounded me, and the streams of ungodliness and torrents of destruction terrified me. The cords of Sheol, the netherworld, the place of the dead, surrounded me. The snares of death confronted me. In my distress, when I seemed surrounded, I called upon the Lord and cried to my God for help. He heard my voice from his temple and my cry for help came before him into his very ears. Then the earth shook and quaked, the foundations of the mountains trembled. They were shaken because he was indignant and angry. Smoke went up from his nostrils, and fire from his mouth devoured. Coals were kindled by it. He bowed the heavens also and came down, and thick darkness was under his feet, and he rode upon the cherub storm and flew, and he sped on the wings of the wind. He made darkness his hiding place, covering his pavilion, canopy around him. The darkness of the waters, the thick clouds of the skies. Out of the brightness before him passed his thick clouds, hailstones and coals of fire. The Lord also thundered in the heavens, and the Most High uttered his voice, hailstones and coals of fire. He sent out his arrows and scattered them, and he sent an abundance of lightning flashes and confused and routed them in defeat. Then the stream beds of the waters appeared, and the foundations of the world were laid bare at your rebuke, O Lord, at the blast of the breath of your nostrils. He reached from on high, he took me, he drew me out of many waters, he rescued me from my strong enemy and from those who hated me, for they were too strong for me. They confronted me in the day of my disaster, but the Lord was my support. He brought me out into a broad place, he rescued me because he was pleased with me and delighted in me. The Lord dealt with me according to my righteousness, moral character, spiritual integrity. According to the cleanliness of my hands, he has rewarded me. For I have kept the ways of the Lord, and have not wickedly departed from my God. For all his ordinances were before me, and I did not put away his statutes from me. I was blameless before him, and I kept myself free from my sin. Therefore the Lord has rewarded me according to my righteousness, moral character, spiritual integrity, according to the cleanliness of my hands in his sight, with the kind, merciful, faithful, loyal, you show yourself kind, with the blameless, you show yourself blameless, with the pure, you show yourself pure, and with the crooked, you show yourself astute, for you save an afflicted and humble people, but bring down those arrogant fools with haughty eyes, for you cause my lamp to be lighted and to shine, the Lord my God illuminates my darkness, for by you I can crush a troop, and by my God I can leap over a wall. As for God, his way is blameless. The word of the Lord is tested. It is perfect. It is faultless. He is a shield to all who take refuge in him. For who is God but the Lord? Or who is a rock except our God, the God who encircles me with strength and makes my way blameless? He makes my feet like hind's feet, able to stand firmly and tread safely on paths of testing and trouble. He sets me securely upon my high places. He trains my hands for war so that my arms can bend a bow of bronze. You have also given me the shield of your salvation, and your right hand upholds and sustains me. Your gentleness, your gracious response when I pray, makes me great. You enlarge the path beneath me and make my steps secure, so that my feet will not slip. I pursued my enemies and overtook them, and I did not turn back until they were consumed. I shattered them so they were not able to rise. They fell wounded under my feet. For you have encircled me with strength for your for the battle. You have subdued under me those who rose up against me. You have also made my enemies turn their backs to me in defeat, and I silenced and destroyed those who hated me. They cried for help, but there was none to, be, to save them. Even to the Lord they cried, but he did not answer them. Then I beat them fine as the dust before the wind. I emptied them out as the dirt of the streets. You have rescued me from the contentions of the people. You have placed me as the head of the nations, a people whom I have not known serve me. As soon as they hear me, they respond and obey me. Foreigners feign obedience to me. Foreigners lose heart 
and come trembling out of their strongholds. The Lord lives. Blessed be my rock, and may the God of my salvation be exalted, the God who avenges me and subdues peoples, nations under me. He rescues me from my enemies. Yes, you lift me up above those who rise up against me. You deliver me from the man of violence. Therefore will I give thanks and praise you, O Lord, among the nations, and sing praises to your name. He gives great triumphs to his king and shows steadfast love and mercy to his anointed, to David and his descendants forever. Just as David, just as David had cried out to God for his salvation, I had done so six years ago. I've been delivered from Satan's snares ever since. All our enemies fall before me at the hands of God and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Even last night this occurred as we had a thunderstorm, the likes of which we haven't seen in this area for what seems like a decade. First came the winds, then rain, followed by some of the most intense lightning and thunder I've ever experienced. My son, dog, and I were quite content and peaceful, though, as we laid in our tent watching Netflix. I listened as the evildoers around me trembled in fear, running to their vehicles and fleeing before God and Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. They could not take the lightning hitting so very close to us as the ground literally trembled as if an earthquake was in process. The thunder was as loud as bombs impacting all around us. The rumbling of the heavens was shaking the earth violently as God spoke, making the enemy flee at his very presence. When I awoke this morning, all but a few evildoers remained, and those still left departed shortly thereafter. God will not allow the enemy to attack you forever before he will remove them from your presence. Shall you faithfully trust and follow his and Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior's righteous way of living in their commands, laws, ways, words, will, and truth. They are the foundation of my life, my fortress in times of distress, my shield from the flaming arrows of the evildoers, my salvation, my confidence, my portion in life, my strength, my provider, my inheritance. They are who guide, train, empower, sustain, make my path straight before them, my rescuers, my defense against all evil, and my sanctuary at all times. It is God and Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, alone who have the entirety of my being. They alone are who rescue everyone from the enemy and delivers the evildoers into their hands. I praise and glorify God and Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, alone, no other. Even though we have no income, we are always provided for by them. We have been betrayed by all we thought who loved us and had the best intentions for us. Because of this, our roadblocks to God and Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, have been purified. We are reliant on God and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, alone for everything. Because of them, I do not let Satan's intrusive thoughts take hold. Rather, I take hold of them and cast them to God and Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, for destruction, knowing that we will always have what we need when we need it. None of this would be possible without having gone through the step-by-step -step process of sanctification. It can be hard, daunting, and terrifying to go through. But with consistency, faith, and trust in God and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, it is not only possible, but joyful to endure. Remember, you need every step in order to defeat Satan and his workers in this world. Pray without ceasing. Believe without seeing. Always focus on God and Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior and not the storm you're in, and you will be victorious by and through them alone. Remember, you are more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. No weapons formed against you will ever prosper. If God is for you, no one can be against you, no matter how it appears to you. For God's ways are not our ways, and his thoughts are higher than our thoughts. So never give up, and never give in. Victory is yours through God and Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. The God who is in you is greater than the enemy behind you, or the one who is in the world. Remember, God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, the angels, and I love you all without question or reservation. May God's love, peace, grace, blessings, joy, mercy, understanding, compassion, caring, kindness, patience, wisdom, protection, guidance, glory, goodness, corrections, truth and trust, favor and anointing, faithfulness and steadfastness, forgiveness and salvation, sanctification, clarity, courage, calm in every situation, knowledge and everything good of them, be with you, always guiding you through. Have a blessed day in God and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I love you all, and I'll see you later.